Hello again. Okay, in this video, I just want to quickly run through template four and just to qu quickly talk about these sizes and also how to get your YouTube code um, and how to upload graphics as well. So let's, without further ado, let's just crack on. Okay, so here we are in the um, interface for template four. Um, so we quickly go in and we choose our header. If you, if this is the first video you're watching, please go back a couple of videos because um, I do go through in more detail. Um, how to use all these buttons etc. Um, let's chuck in our like button code which I've already got here and again I show you guys how to use that I think it's in video 16 or 17 maybe it's video 15. Uh, so there's my like button code I'm going to leave my step one in okay or should we just take it out let's just go out because on the last two I showed you it in and then I showed you with my own one now let's just take it out okay. And then in here, let's just put in some text. So let's just say, hey, welcome to the academy and throw that in there. And uh, let's just center that and make that impact and make that much bigger. OK, um, and then I'm just going to leave this out. I'm going to say, no, I don't want to step to image. Now, here's where um, you've got the two things side by side. Yeah. And you can choose whether to have the video one side and the opt in the other way or um, a completely different layout yeah now what you have got to have wanted to do to begin with is when you've created your opt-in code in whatever autoresponder format you're using you're going to want to make sure that that opt-in code that opt-in form is no wider than about 200 pixels okay to fit in nicely with this you really want to make sure that it's no wider than about 200 pixels so what we want to do here is, first of all, we're going to put our video code in. Now, I've got my YouTube video code here, OK, because uh, I already got it prepared. But just in case, let's go over to YouTube. Let's say you've, you've recorded your video. I'm not going to go through a YouTube tutorial now, um, but I do do them. So they are on my site. Um, so if you, you've recorded your video, you've uploaded it and you now want to grab the code for it. So you're going to click into your videos find the video it is that you want to share so let's just use this one of a webinar I did the other day um, let's just pause that and you're going to go to embed okay now you've got an iframe code you've also got this little tick button here to use old embed code it doesn't matter both formats completely work okay so you copy this code that's in here in your embed and we go back to here and we just copy that code straight in there OK, but here's the thing. We need to make sure that that width is changed. All right. So let's take the width down to two two five, I would say. OK, and then let's put your opt in code in that you've already uh, done. I showed you how to do that in video 14 or something, I think. And let's just place that in there. OK, and then you might want to put some stuff down here, you know, whatever that is. Test, test. Um, my, I've just noticed actually, and you won't, this won't happen when you get it, but that has, um, my text box has disappeared down here for some strange reason. Uh, but when you uh, see, by the time you see this, the text box will be back. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then let's just grab this code here and let's preview this. Okay. And see what that does. All right. And so as you can see there, um, my uh, video is pants because of the height of it. Let's just pause that. Do you know, I was going to take that out, actually, the fact that I just said pants because of the height. But you know what? I think it's actually good to get things wrong sometimes in front of you guys so that you can see what I'm doing to get it right. So what we need to do is go back and edit it because clearly, look, my height is way out, isn't it? So let's go back and edit that. OK. Uh, because I've changed the width, but look, I've left my height really big. So let's change the height to 180, let's say. Yeah. Um, and remember, because I'm using Chrome, I should be using Firefox because this is a pain, isn't it? I've got to put my header image back in there. OK, so my uh, video, I've now changed the height to 180, the width to 225. I've got my my autoresponder code. I just said, obviously, these um, these will be different by the time you see this. These will be text boxes, just like these text boxes up here and just like on all the other templates. OK, those will be text boxes. Um, and then we just grab our install code and let's go and preview. And that's better, isn't it? There we go. Not so pants now, is it? <laughs> All right.
right so I mean that's a basic one I haven't put any images or anything else in there I just wanted to show you the sizing um, of how those work okay now obviously you could go through and click all install now and put that on your page and this is what would show up but before we do that I want to go back and I want to change these to images all right so that you're actually loading images in here rather than videos and opt-in forms and I want clickable images as well so let me show you how we're going to go and do that all right so here we are back in uh, our interface okay but what I want to do is in these two boxes here, which is the video or opt-in embed codes, I actually want to put a code for an image. Okay. Now, okay, for all of you guys who are thinking, I have no idea, Joe, how to upload to servers and things like that, I'm really sorry. I'm not going to go into that on this free series. Okay. That really is like a whole um whole training session all on its own, really, how to upload to FTPs and all the rest of it. Um, at this point, uh, I can certainly guarantee that, that there's a link below here for Chris Farrell's membership site. Go and check that out. He talks he talks through exactly how to upload FTP um, and how to upload stuff to servers and things like that. So do please go and check that out um, because there's loads of stuff that he can help you. In fact, I'm going to put a link to his ebook under here as well. So you can go straight and have a look at his ebook, Create Your First Website, which tells you exactly how to do all of that. But for now, I'm going to presume that you know how to do that and you know how to upload an image and get your URL. But what we want to do is we want to make it clickable. Yeah. So let me just show you the code to do that. OK, let me just put this in. All right. What you do is you put in the a this little um, icon here and the a href equals. And this is where you would put your link. This is the link of the website that you want it to go to. OK. Then you'd put in your image style. I mean, I would say just copy this, just take this code and copy this, okay? Um, and you can basically just fill in the blanks really with your information. So over here, this information would be where you actually want the person to click through to. And this information here is going to be the actual image straight off your URL, okay? So I'm just going to copy that. And obviously you can have, you know, whatever images you want. I'm just going to basically put the two of them side by side, yeah? But you can obviously put in whatever you want there. All right, and then we go down here, and let's click, click oh, put my teeth back in, click preview, and my head of graphics will come out again. There we go, boom, boom, okay, and there's my clickable image. So if I basically open that up, and you can see that that takes me through to my social networking academy main page, all right? Um, so that's basically how it works. You can just go in and put those images in there, which I think is really, really cool. So let's just go back and let's throw in our header image, uh, which is that one. Uh, we've got our like button code in there. I'm showing no step ones. I've got my title, no step twos. I've got my two images in there. Um, and my installation code is that. So let's do that. And let's preview that again. And now what I want to quickly show you, I'm going to go and put this on a page and then I'm going to show you how you completely reset and get rid of this if you want to use the same page. OK, so there's all my stuff. So let's go and click install. And that's going to take me over to this page again. Let's go and pick the coffee club again, because that's the one I'm using for today's example. Let's add our iframe. Um, let's go down here and find our iframe and click on that. Let's enter our code in there, press continue, uh, refresh, and here is our page, just loading up, okay, there we go, all right, there, if I click on that, it's going to take me through just like that, look at that, boom, boom, takes me straight through to my page, my social network academy page, um, all right, and that's basically how you use the templates. And as you can see, they're very versatile and there's lots you can do with them. Now, what I'd like to do is just show you how you get rid of this. So, for instance, you don't like it, you want to change it, you want different image sizes, whatever. Um, what you need to do is this. It's a little bit of, you need to go here to click here, reset your page, click here. OK, so just click that button and then that's going to tell you your page has been reset successfully. OK, so you can go back here and refresh this page. And then when you create another page, you can go back here and you can simply put in the installation code. OK, however, if you have any problems, if for any reason it doesn't work or it's feeling a bit buggy on that particular day or anything like that, I mean, you just want to go through the whole install process again. 
all you need to do is go to edit page on your actual page that you want to use okay go to your apps and then remove it just completely remove it but make sure you reset it first you must reset it first and then come down here and click remove and then remove the application so it's now gone okay completely um, and then when you go back into the page, when you go back into the free fan page templates and you redo it, okay, then when you go to click install now, that page will come up again on the list of pages that you can install that page on. Okay, guys, I hope that's been helpful. Now, um, there's still more videos to come. The next few videos, I'm actually going to go through all the marketing tabs on your page. Um, so we're actually going to, uh, let's just go to a page, uh, Facebook I want, don't I? Facebook. Let's just go to my page. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is, on the next few um, videos, I'm actually going through um, this section here. I'm going to take you through all of these different things and show you, you know, the marketing side. Plus I'm going to show you how to add a like box to your blog. Um, plus, I'm going to go through different ways that you can now start to now you've got your welcome page and everything set up and all ready to go. I'm going to take you through um, some basic ways on how you can start to create and gather um, yourself some likes. Yeah, and get yourself up to this kind of level as soon as possible. All right. Uh, so um, I hope that that's been really uh, helpful to you so far. Go and have a play. Yeah, go and have a play with these. Um, please remember, guys, these are free. OK, these are completely free. And therefore, I cannot offer an immense amount of technical support on them, because otherwise I would just be spending all day supporting people and not actually getting any work done. So I am providing them for you free. I've tried to make them as simple as possible. Feel free to come over to free fan page templates and report any bugs or anything like that. You want to put say, hey, Joe, this isn't working or whatever. I'll answer as many questions as I possibly can on this page to help you with these. Um, but I'm afraid I can't offer full blown technical support on them because, as I said, they are completely free. Um, so you need to go and just have a good play with them and uh, and start getting to 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 use them. And I hope they will benefit your page and your business greatly. And I will see you in the next video for all the different ways we can now start to market your page. See you soon.